In this video, I will show you some things you should know about invertebrate animals. The main characteristic of invertebrate animals is that they don't have a spinal cord. They can be classified in six groups. The first one is sponges. They are the simplest invertebrates. Their body is like a sack and it has small holes called pores. They cannot move about, so they are attached to rocks. To eat, they absorb the seawater with the pores and filter the nutrients in it. The second group is cnidarians. Cnidarians include jellyfish and corals, so they are aquatic. Jellyfish have a jelly-like body, mostly made of water. They also have poisonous tentacles that can sting you. Worms are the third group. They have long bodies with no legs and they can be both aquatic or terrestrial. The next group is echinoderms, which include starfish and sea orchids. Their body is made up of hard plates and they are aquatic. Starfish have tiny feet to move around and sea orchids have spines that protect their body and allow them to move. Mollusks are also invertebrate animals and they can be divided into three groups. Snails protect their body with one spiral cell. Bivalves have two cells to protect their body and they are aquatic. Squids, cuttlefish and octopuses form the third group of mollusks. They are aquatic. Squids and cuttlefish have an inner shell but octopuses don't. They have suction cups in their tentacles. The last group is arthropods. Arthropods are divided into four smaller groups. Insects have a body divided into head, thorax and abdomen. They have two antennae in the head and six legs and wings in the thorax. Insects metamorphose. That means that they are born as larvae. To become adults, they form a chrysalid and after some time, they come out as the adult insect. Arachnids have two legs and they don't have antennae. They produce silk to make webs. Most crustaceans have 10 legs and two antennae. Finally, myriapods have a segmented body. In each segment, they have a pair of legs, so they have lots of feet.